what stands out to you over the past 12 months in ACU athletics? I, I think what stands out the most is that uh, the university got a glimpse of what, uh, how powerful uh, Division I athletics can be and the exposure that can be provided um, to help tell a university story uh, through athletics. Um, you know, the NCAA tournaments that we participated in from soccer to men's women's basketball. I think it just gave this institution a glimpse of that there's going to be some really good things that come from having a successful, high integrity type of athletic program. How has ACU Athletics advanced its brand this year with all of their success? It, it's an evolving process uh, when it comes to developing a really strong uh, athletic program because you have to have success that's sustainable. Uh, you can't just have little glimpses here, little glimpses there. If you really want to be known on the national uh, level as, hey, we're one of the top you know, mid-major programs in, in the country. So that means that we have to not only have success, but we have to sustain it. This is year three for Coach Doral and his staff. What have you seen in him over the last year on and off the field to give you confidence that this program is going in the right direction? The most important thing for me as an athletic director is to see coaches that are making decisions that are in the best interest of the program. Football, it takes time. It just takes time. And he's going into year three, which means he's probably only had really two recruiting classes, and he needs two or three more. And you start doing that, and you're able to redshirt some of those freshmen so they get another year of academics behind them. They become redshirt seniors. They start developing physically. You start seeing the makings of a really solid FCS program and that's what he's doing and I feel like he deserves the time to, to continue that and, and have the support from the university. Well I think his roster will be deeper. Um, that typically happens you know year three for a program like ours and really all FCS programs you know to get to a point where you have eight to ten defensive linemen and you have you know ten to twelve offensive linemen where if you one goes down you're not sitting there scrambling all year long. That's a big big deal. But as you get into year three and year four and year five, you finally start having some of that depth. How important is it for ACU athletics to continue to play the bigger universities to make sure that our brand continues to grow, but also to excite our fans for the future? Well, our fans get excited about it. And ultimately, the goal for us would be get to get, get to Frisco. Can you imagine the crowd we would have in Frisco if ACU was playing in a national championship there, I mean, we'd pack that place. I have no doubt that we would. And our example is what happened in Katy with the basketball tournament, how many people we took down to Baylor last year, how many tickets we're selling to, to UNT. That is a, is a great representation of what a Division I program is all about. But when you start to travel fans and you start packing it out in Katy and you start taking them to Baylor and UNT and some of those other places, that's the makings of a really strong and successful Division I program. It's something that we can sustain.